Hi folks, it's Mike with GetMyTips.com with some insight for you on how much money you can save purchasing a replacement filter for your K-Cup or Keurig coffee maker. Now the one I like is one I got from Amazon.com and it's actually made by Keurig. To use the K-Cup replacement filter, you have to remove the guide that snaps out of the coffee pot. And that's because the replacement filter sits in its own little pod. Now the amount of money that you're going to save depends on how much coffee you put in the basket. In other words, how strong do you like your coffee? And speaking of saving money, I found a very interesting anomaly at the Walmart.com website that I'll share with you before this video ends, but you can save 18 cents per cup or $6.50, and I'll show you how to do that. So I went down to Publix and purchased a package of coffee. The size of the package is not important because what we're looking at here is how many cups of coffee I can get out of it, filling the replacement basket using the amount of coffee that I normally use. And as it turns out, I was able to get 30 cups of coffee. And that, at $4.09, comes out to about 13 cents per cup, which is actually pretty good because when I purchased in bulk from Sam's Club, I have been paying 52 cents per cup. So using the replacement filter and filling it myself saved me personally 39 cents per cup. Now I said that I'm going to save 39 cents per cup, but the amount of money that you're going to save is going to depend on the amount of coffee that you put in the filter each time you fill it up. If you use less coffee than I do, obviously your cost per cup is going to be less. Okay, let me share with you this crazy pricing anomaly I discovered at walmart.com while doing research for this video. Now keep in mind that these prices are at the time of this video production and they may change in the future. However, when I went to the walmart.com website, I noticed an 18 pack of coffee for $10.98 and that's about 61 cents per cup. Next I decided to look at larger quantities of the exact same brand of coffee and noticed that Walmart.com was selling a 36 count for $28.61 and that's about 79 cents a cup but this didn't make any sense to me. And that's because if I purchased two of the 18 count I would still have 36 but my price would only be $21.96 and we're back to 61 cents a cup. My guess is that this pricing anomaly is an error and it won't last long. However, if somebody were to go to Walmart.com today and buy two 18 packs instead of one 36 pack, they could save $6.65. Well, there you go, folks. Now, if you think you learned something today, why not share this video with a friend? And for more great tips like this, visit our website, GetMyTips.com, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to this YouTube channel so you'll be notified as soon as I post another video. Thanks.